Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to replace the force touch sensor on your Apple Watch Series 3 in 2024. And these are the tools that you might need during the process of replacing your force touch sensor cable. It should be noted that when purchasing the Apple Watch Series 3 battery, it actually comes included with all the tools necessary to remove the screen and the force touch sensor cable or the force touch sensor gasket. So you just pay once and you get all of it. And in case you accidentally break the force touch sensor gasket or cable, you can replace it in one go. Since I already explained how to remove the screen, screen in my previous video about how to replace the battery on Apple Watch Series 3. So I have to fast forward this process. But if you want to see how to remove the screen slowly and effectively, please go back to watch my previous video regarding the replacement of the battery on Apple Watch Series 3. We need to remove the screw right here so that we can detach the broken force touch sensor gasket or cable. Next, we need to peel this up. Once it's open, it will present to you with the battery and force touch sensor connectors protective cover. We need to peel some more so that we can access the connectors and detach them easily. There you can see the gold color connector that is the force touch sensor connector we need to detach it so that we can replace it with the new one now we need to peel to remove the broken force touch sensor cable we will be replacing it with this new force touch sensor gasket or cable but before that we have to remove the remaining adhesive first i'm using ear cleaning cotton swab injected with alcohol at the tip Hopefully it can help me to remove the remaining adhesive completely from the housing. Surely at this stage you have to be very patient because you want to remove every visible adhesive. If you don't, the new adhesive will not stick well and you won't be able to stick your Apple Watch screen back to its housing properly. Once it is clean, it's time to install the new force touch sensor gasket. So there are two stages of removing the plastic covering the adhesive. We need to remove this side first and the other side will be removed later on. Just flip it over to face the Apple Watch casing and then gently and carefully align the adhesive to fit its place. Once again, you have to do it slowly, otherwise you will misalign the adhesive and then there won't be a proper seal when you put the screen back. I'm using my tweezers to try to press on the adhesive so that it would stick more properly onto the housing. Again, try to do it every corner possible. The better the seal, the more likely that your Apple Watch won't get damaged by water leakage in the future. Once it is done, it's time to peel off the second stage adhesive protected plastic. Now it's time to reattach the force touch sensor connector to the Apple Watch logic board. Once again, the process is tedious, so you have to be very careful not to press too hard on it, otherwise you will break the connector or probably the flex cable. Once you ensure that the connector is snuck into place, it's time to test it. Next, put the connectors protective cover back and screw them back. Next, Restick the adhesive protected tape. If you find it not sticky enough, you may also use double tape to help. Next, it's time to reattach the screen 3 flex cables. You have to be very gentle with it, otherwise you may break the flex cable. And of course, once you have inserted each of the flex cable, you have to close the clamp at the edge of the cable to ensure that each cable is snuck into place. Now it's time to test if the replacement works. Now my Apple Watch has boot up. Let's wait until it shows the home screen and then we'll start testing the force touch sensor. Now it's on the home screen. Let's test it. You can see that the force touch sensor works perfectly fine, which means our replacement was a success. Let's test a little bit more to ensure that it really works. As you can see that every time I try to force touch on my Apple Watch screen, it works perfectly fine. So it means that this replacement was a success. And now it's time to stick the screen back to the housing. So we need to remove the last protective plastic right here. 
and use the scissors to cut it in half. And then peel it off. Now use your finger to try to press on the screen so that the adhesive will stick the screen to its housing properly. Once that is done, you're good to go. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.